We launched on October 1st, 2012, and our goal from the very beginning was to really change the lives of people who have POTS and other forms of dysautonomia by raising awareness, by raising funds for research, and not only raising money for it, but actually advocating for the research to happen. This Autonomy International provides an extremely valuable interface between patients and physicians and researchers. The researchers that we have that we're working with are some of the brightest minds in medical science. They don't have funds to do the research and we need to step into that role. We've supported 12 POTS research studies in the past three years with over $400,000 in grant funding. We work with physicians to try to educate them so that they can serve our patient community better. We try to help them have tools available to help their patients. I think they put on very good conferences. They make the uh, talks available online. Um, it's, it's been a very good catalyst to sharing of information and a lot of cross-fertilization. Often we're, we're talking to people who do exactly what we do and this group has brought in immunologists and uh, gastroenterologists and people who can educate physicians about the subtleties and the fine points of the diagnosis. So it's, it's been very important. We have our international conference each summer. We have regional events around the country that serve thousands of patients. And we have online support groups that serve tens of thousands of patients. It's so important to connect our patient community together. We're stronger together. As soon as I got involved, and as soon as I learned about the organization, they started providing me with tons of information and got me hooked up with an amazing doctor, amazing resources, and amazing friends. The work of Dysautonomia International is huge. I think it's benefiting so many people and that I really hope that this continues to grow. And I appreciate everything that they do. Knowing that there's such a big community and that there's so much potential for future research, it's pretty awe-inspiring. <laughs>